You ready? Good. Welcome, Internet! Welcome, everyone! We are the Grin Brothers! I just brought stuff. No, and I'm we're continuing our playthrough of Legend of K. <laughs> Sorry, not Legend of K. Oh, hey. <laughs> Found another one of the... I've been watching too many of our Legend of K videos to edit them. Um, cameo, Elements of Power. I'm surprised I'm actually still awake at this moment because I had to stay up to the early hours of the morning uh, sawing out our most recent Legend of K video. Because for some reason it messed up or something, and so I had to re-upload it. That was not a pleasant experience. I, it means we've got a whole other video that I have to... Uh... Hello, dragon. We have a whole other video that I have to delete, because currently we've got two part 19s of Legend of K. And I'm not sure that there should be any more extra Legends of Ks. I mean, it's already been remade like three times. Yeah. Well... Remade two times, but it was made the first time. Well, I hope it was made the first time. <laughs> it just existed one day, and we never questioned it. If you'd like some advice, call it with me through the wow, my kick does not send it very far. The studio that made Legend of K, their first game was about a squirrel called Mr. Nuts. Well, was it? Oh, a I was kid's about game. To say, if Dad yeah, did not... it was a, it was a kid-friendly plat mascot oh, platform. I was going to say, was it about these nuts? In, you know, in typical fashion. I'm going to take this trumpet plant with me. Um, At least I think that's because, what it you is. know, it disturbs me either way. Platform mascots were, you know. Hey guys. You know, platform mascots were the first-person shooters of the sort of olden days. Drop the child, Jesus Christ. I will say that it's kind of odd that... Come on, give me the kid, give me the kid. A lot of them seem to just try to copy Sonic, like... They, you know, they didn't ever really try to copy Mario, Sonic the Herthog. I mean, you got, okay, you had a few copies of Mario, such as Gianna Sisters. Yeah. Um... Wait, you consider Gianna Sisters a copy of Mario? It was a copy of Mario. Like, it was literally Super Mario Brothers reskinned initially. Oh. Back in the 80s. Oh. I didn't know Gianna's sister. It was been it has been around for a long time. Nintendo are actually, you know, okay with them now because they actually make, you know, um, an original game. Original games, but it was originally made as a reskin of Super Mario Brothers. I told him that wandering uh, frozen branches. Okay. Um. Probably figure out what I have to explode before I punch that but, guy. Like when it comes to the mascot characters, a lot of them, you know, seem to based themselves off Sonic and seemed to copy what Sonic was trying to do. So you had a lot of the animal mascot characters, but I think that's kind of why a lot of them didn't succeed. Because let's think of some of the mascot characters that did succeed, um, sort of back in their day. You had Mario. You had Sonic. Oh, hey, a fruit. You had Bonk. I'd say Bonk was another one that succeeded quite well. Um, That's because even if it didn't succeed, it's beautiful. Because you know, um, you know, e e even though you know some of these don't aren't re remembered quite so well back in the day, they were popular back in the day. Uh, James Pond actually did pretty well back in its day. Um, Rayman did very well. Yeah. Although I think a big reason for that, well, other than the fact that the first Rayman game still looks beautiful to this day. Oh yeah. Like it is amazing how good that game looks. Like I, I'm a bigger fan of Rayman Two. Like. It's actually weird. No, you stupid yeti. I generally prefer 2D platformers, yet Rayman is one of the only pla sort of 2D platformers that I actually prefer it when it's 3D. Because I love Rayman 2 so much. Um, but yeah, Ray Rayman 1 still looks beautiful. But I think, you know, its advantage was that many people weren't making 2D games at that point. Because, um, you know, people were trying to move on to 3D. Um, with the sort of next generation. So Rayman's one of those sort of was that one of those rare and really well made 32 bit platformers so um and um wow I actually managed to hit yeah, but yeah the, the thing that a lot of these sort of games ended up succeeding on and kept them relevant back in the day uh, Dizzy's another one um although Dizzy is admittedly less of a platform and more of an adventure game, or it's, it, it's a hybrid of sorts. You know, platform slash adventure game. Yeah. You know, find the items, solve the puzzles. Some of them require a huge leap in logic, others don't. Um, you know, that's typical of all adventure games, really. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, by the way, I've just left a chart. Oh, jolly good. Um, I'm going for flex so that I can actually navigate this area properly. <laughs> This is the but only time you'll probably see me using flex. The properly. reason these platformers succeeded is they were all unique. Don't you know, think they didn't, they yeah. didn't try to copy each other. I mean, I think. You know, <laughs> I mean, That's what they sound like to me. Oh no, right. Admit, okay, admittedly, you can debate whether James Bond is unique, given that it's basically a fish version of James Bond. But it was unique at its time. You know, and even as a parody, it is unique. It wasn't based off the other in terms of his gameplay concept. I think, you know, where James Pond seemed to, you know, people started to remember it less was the fact that James Pond 3 was seemingly inspired from Sonic from the looks of some of the things, you know, like he's suddenly become a lot faster. Yeah. Uh, sort of thing. Um, oh god, these things. <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Cheers. I was really confused when reading Garfield comics back in the day because they always used Gashundite. It's like I have no idea what that means. Why aren't they saying "bless you"? Then again, "bless you" isn't even right. The you know the original term anyway because originally it was "bless you." I think "bless you" is just a matter of acts like how we I mean, say it. It is supposed to be "bless you." Yeah, but I've I've always said it as "bless you." Yeah. Although I guess I could also do a, you know not being religious. So. Check for what not to see it. Um. Wow, congrats. <laughs> Much explosion. Oh, so, the, they're so explosive. We have the wyvern to get a bit closer. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, not even a wyvern. the platform mascots that succeeded were the platform mascots that didn't try to copy each other. I mean, you know, a few that has got some relevance, I guess. You know, like some people remember Error the Acrobat. Who? Error the Acrobat. But. Shut up, Orphus! I know what I'm doing! Jesus Christ! But you know, when you look back to the sort of platformers, the ones that are remembered... You ready for a shadow trial? The ones that are remembered are the ones that didn't try to copy each other. To get, like, literally one of the most pointless characters. Also, how did I change clothes? Not sure. Kami is a very quick dresser, apparently. Apparently so. Eh, scary! Spook you every time! Look, look at it, it's hideous. Yeah, it is pretty hideous. Maybe it's just because of the textures or something. But... Yeah, maybe. Um... I don't think my wings. Yeah, it's, 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 you know... Kind of interesting in that case of, you know, what platforms, you know, came to my mind. Like, everyone was so different. Um... Admittedly, some of them were different because of limitations. I think that's why Dizzy's an egg. Graphical limitations, they were like, okay, what's the easiest thing we can draw? And they basically just drew a circle and they go, okay, he's going to be an egg. Well, I mean, <laughs> this guy's so just, just exploding everything, can I point that out? It's, it's like a lot of things back in the day were done simply because what can we actually do of our limitations? And a lot of things were built around, you know, what limitations there were. I know he dodged. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting what that ends up bringing to light. An interesting thing I found out that I didn't know about, uh, Core Design, the group that made Tomb Raider, yeah. um, they also made Chuck Rock. Who? Chuck Rock. And Chuck Rock 2, son of Chuck. Can I repeat my previous question? Who? It's a game where you play as a caveman and defeat your enemies by hip thrusting. Well. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and although your main sort of ability in that was to chuck rocks. And I use it to crush enemies. You know, it actually it as, sounds like as, I heard of. Oh no. Use it as platformers. Platforms and all that. Um, well, I've heard. Good games. Um, Die. Yep, the end of that. Um, I he upgraded it. because he could drop flames. Let's skull. see, another popular platforming character. Oh, no, this Look one, at it, it's hideous! Oh, no, this is one that most Americans won't have heard of. Uh, Zool. And Zool was really weird. I mean, Space Ninja. Who's green and pointy ears. And, Look at that yeah. thing. It does remind me of that thing from Space Jam. One of the aliens from Space Jam, the orange one. Uh, that's Toe Jam. Maybe. It's Toe Jam and Earth, right? Don't smile on that thing. What's wrong with its eyes? 
its pupils just started misting over. And it's literally pretty. Oh, what? It, it doesn't. No, no, what? hold on. Just wait for it. Oh gosh, it looks like it's in agony. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Flax. Tentacles. You as... barely even resemble what you looked like before. It's basically just tentacles. Both the water creatures. Why didn't they make a cameo too? Both the water creatures are just tentacles. Alright, now you get so like, to see. It's, it's kind of weird that the, of all the IPs they focused on, it was Viva Pinata they focused on most. Yeah, during, during don't the, question. During the Xbox 360 right. era. It's like, Smack, wait, sucker what? shot, fling shot, sucker slam, shocker, slap storm. No offense, considering it's just tentacles, a lot of this could probably be slightly slash very. Misinterpreted. Uh. What? Yeah, that sounds like it'll be. Oh, and we gotta check out the skin. I'm going to. I'm just making flux slightly less useless. <laughs> it's hard, trust me. Yeah, I I don't know anything from this point onwards. And I want slapstorm just because it's called slapstorm. <laughs> uh oh no, that's terrible. Let's get it. I really hope there's a pimp out for Flex. <laughs> well, he's, as I said, most of his abilities sound like, considering he is tentacle, sound like he could be misinterpreted greatly. I mean, yep. Smacks you, sucks, shocker, I'm pretty sure is a sexual thing as well. Slapstorm, definitely. Awesome! Scary. That's scarier. Uh, what is that even supposed to be? Balloons. Wow. I think. Okay. Just armor. That's usually the most boring one. Yeah, it makes him look. No, I... he looks. What even? And now he looks like he's fused with pummelweed. You know, I'm just gonna go with the basic one. Are you I... sure? The, the, but the, Liam, the I want to one, use him as little as one, possible. The second one's an awesome robot. I want to use him as little as possible. I mean, look at this. Oh, thing. it moves so it's cool. Like, blah, 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 oh, blah, blah, I love blah, its movement. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> look at it. How can you not like this? Because he sucks. I mean, look at him. He's, he's even speaking on the floor. It's like it's like the head guy, but without the head. Look at him. Yeah, he's terrible. Speaking of tentacles, though. I um, like him. You like him, yes. Um, I'm questioning uh, Nintendo of America's sort of policies when it comes to sort of their translations and such. Lucky stem. <laughs> like the, you know, you know how uh, Nintendo of America censored, uh, well, removed the uh, lingerie costumes from. As they know it, Fatal Frame 5, Maiden of Black Water, but as we know it, Project Zero, Maiden yeah. of Black Water. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, they were able to get some rather peculiar lines Cameo in Splatoon. Is, Cameo is tiny inside this thing. Look at her, she's just like curled up. <laughs> like, Splatoon's current Splatfest in America is beautiful. You, would you rather travel to the past or travel to the future? So, Europe are probably going to get, would you like to travel to the past or not travel to the past? Because, probably. you know, Europe gets terrible Splatfests most of the time. And, um... But, when sort of bringing up their argument, one of Callie's lines is, for as she sort of says she wants to be Team Past, is she's always wanted to ride a human, and Mary replies, Naughty. <laughs> How is it that an M-rated game can't have that sort of content, but Splatoon was allowed it? Splatoon! Oh, yeah. Another Shadow Troll. By the way. Oh, they're, sh they're throwing these at you now. Right. Legend says that. 40 below. <laughs> What? What? Yeah. So those that is an example of why we need forty below. Those things only forty below can apparently walk on them. Which... See through bridges. Yes. So, do you understand one of the reasons I think Flex is so useless? He's literally only got so that you can get another spirit. Wow. That's his sole purpose for existing. 
<laughs> so that's See the guy you cause... talked about whose only use is that one area then. Pretty much, yeah. Same with 40 Below. 40 Below is only really good for this one area as well. Maybe there's a part in the final dungeon where you have to use them. Probably, but... Because you never got to the final area, did you? No. Didn't you say you got stuck on a boss, or... Or was that just... For like a solid year or two, yes, I got stuck on, um... The War Temple boss. Ah. I can't help feeling something's brewing out on the Badlands. Oh, well, do you want to return to the Badlands, or...? Shall we? I guess. We'll have to end the episode here, but we'll restart once we get to the Badlands.